Hi everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. As you can tell, my hair has a mind of her own right now. So I'm not even gonna try to like make it look nice for the camera because I don't care. Anyways, I just found this on the top of my fridge and I'm like, ooh, she looks kind of good. But um, welcome back, panel. I know it's been a while. And um, Happy New Year, everybody. Oh my gosh, okay. When in doubt, when in doubt, she go. Wow, 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 wow. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. The end of the year was kind of a spiral. Not really in a bad way, but um, I was, I've just been going, going, going. Eight ounces, what the heck is eight ounces? Always be here right Ooh, that looks beautiful. I tried to film this video many times, but she just wasn't working. Like I said, I've just been going, going, going. Meaning, Christmas, I'm just busy. The New Year's, I got sick, like on my deathbed kind of sick. And so I just wasn't feeling up to it. And then I've also just been working. And then once I get home, I'm just like exhausted. So I don't have any, any kind of energy to film a YouTube video. No energy to edit, no energy to like be all in for a video. So I just decided to delay uh, videos, whatever. I don't know, maybe I'm in a funk right now. I'm not necessarily sad, but I'm not necessarily happy right now. I'm literally trying to figure out what's going on right now myself. Um. Ugh. Now, why don't we just like talk about the new year? Ugh. Talk about the past year. <laughs> I came home from Korea in April and then I was chilling for like a few weeks and then I got a job and then pretty much I've just been working. Also trying to plan my next destination of where I'm going because I cannot be here for too long. I cannot. I cannot. That's crazy. Yeah, I am not one for New Year's resolutions because honestly, I think they're kind of dumb. I believe that you have the capability to change your life on any given day, at any given moment, any given point of time. You don't have to wait till January 1st of the next year to start those goals. You could start in 10 minutes. You could start now. You could start tomorrow. Stop waiting for the New Year, please. Okay. But we could decide like things we do want to work on, things we can stop doing that we were doing in 2022 and new ways we want to be in 2023. Those are different from goals, right? Right? I think at this point right now, I am really lonely. Here's the thing. There's a difference between being alone and feeling alone, okay? Because me, one thing about me is that I love my alone time. Like, it's also very crucial to my survival. Like, please leave me alone. Don't talk to me, don't touch me. Don't be in my 20 mile radius of breathing space. And then we're good. How did I even get on that? Oh my gosh, like the hookup culture lately? Disgusting. Ugh. Why do you want to be in somebody every other single second of the day? That's just gross. You're gross, you need to go shower. <clears throat> you need to get your life right. Why am I talking about that? Believe it or not, I'm an introvert. You know, I've never eaten an apple like this. One thing I did when I, when I have with this is freaking a waffle. Sorry guys, I'm all over the place. I feel like there's so much I need to get out, but I'm just literally trying to find every single train of thought that I'm having. What was I just talking about? I don't know. Yeah, I tried to film this video yesterday and I got through the entire video, but Scrapped the whole video. I deleted everything. Deleted all the footage. I'm just gonna go get burnt at the beach again. Maybe take a little journal journal to the beach. Ugh. I'm a little waffy waff. These things are so processed. But you know what? They taste good. And you know what? I'm gonna die anyway. So because I've been sick, it kind of ruined my um my lungs, my vocal cords. What does that mean? I haven't been able to sing in like two weeks. It's kind of driving me insane. I still can sing, but it's just like, not good. It sounds terrible. Like, listen, listen, listen. 
Like, what the heck? That's disgusting. Some part of me just wishes that I could take all the millions and billions of thoughts going in my head and just like take out the unnecessary stuff, leave the essentials, and just have a clear mind for a bit. Does that make sense to anybody? I just got back from the beach, right? Thinking that it would like calm my mind and like fix something. And uh, well, it didn't. <laughs> so you know what? I haven't eaten all day. I decided I'm gonna make a comfort food of mine, which is ramyun. Ramyun. This this will be my pick me up, okay? And if not, well, what are you gonna do? Chicken I don't know. But ramyun is good. This is like the morning after I was filming all of that. And you know what? I wasn't very impressed with my videos so far. I was about to scrap all the footage, but we're not going to do that. Because, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So here are things that we're going to leave in 2022. One, mindless consumption of social media. I have an issue with that. Um, Like after a hard day at work or just like, like when I'm in a setting where I just have too much human energy stimulation I just kind of just like mind dump and veg on social media I hate that I do it and I'm really working on it but yeah next thing is wasting energy on people or unnecessary things that sounds so very TikTok cliche on me to say and when I say waste energy in some some friendships or relationships that I had I think I was just using my entire time with them trying to be liked by them or trying to be approved by them. How exhausting, right? Luckily, I've already chose to be the big girl and move on from them because I just didn't like who I was or how I was like constantly thinking of like, oh, if I say this, are they gonna, are they gonna like it? Are they gonna be mad or whatever? Even though I've already done some of that, like, it's always something that you will always be on the lookout for. Anyways, <clears throat> next, oversharing. Um, we're gonna leave that in 2022. I have the tendency to overshare. Like, especially with strangers sometimes. Like, they'll ask me a general basic question of my life. And then I'll decide to tell them my entire life story. Just because, I don't know, I don't know. Last thing is we are not going to make decisions based off of other people. I would make choices based off of what I thought people were going to think about me. Once again, how exhausting. Ew. While I was like trying to figure out what, what what's my dream. <laughs> so I love singing, right? Before, I would only post a singing cover maybe like three to six months apart because I'm like, oh, nobody wants to hear me sing that much. Or like, I don't want to lose followers by posting too many singing videos. Does that even make sense? First of all, who cares? <laughs> who the cares? The moral of the story is make decisions off based what you want to do. Make decisions based off of your heart. Follow your heart. At the end of the day, no matter what you do, People are going to keep living. People are going to move on with their life. They're going to forget about you. So might as well just do what you want. Now moving on to the next section. Things that we are going to do in 2023. They're not like specific goals. It's just, it's just ideas to keep in mind throughout the entire year. One, prioritize health and wealth. I really got to get my sleeping schedule um, in check. My sleeping schedule is because I have an overactive brain. And right now, I'm filming this video with like with like the five hours of sleep that I've got throughout this whole week. I think I've got maybe like an hour and a, hour and a half of sleep each night. It's Friday. <laughs> because I am um, struggling. But you know what? My creative brain is still going. So I had to, I had to like get all these thoughts out. Next. Next is we are going to prioritize focusing on my journey. What I'm trying to say is stop comparing my journey to somebody else's. And that's in terms of like fashion journey or social media journey or um, 
like a YouTube journey or fitness journey, there have been good and bad sides to everybody's lives, to everybody's journey. So why compare myself to a journey that they're trying to figure out on their own, right? I don't even know if that made any sense. Maybe I just contradicted everything you said, but also there was a quote from this guy at an award show. He's like, slowest, slowest is the fastest, the fastest way, way to get where you want to be. be. Anyways, next, um, prioritizing gratitude, counting your blessings, counting your people. And when I say counting your people, me, I am very much quality over quantity kind of gal. Like I don't need the millions and thousands of friends just to make me feel, you know, happy and complete and whatever. I value deep connection. I value your mind and your opinions and your kindness more than the amount of friends you have or the followers you have or the way you dress, whatever. When I say count, counting my people, counting my blessings, the solid good friends that I have right now, I could probably count on one hand. I know they're gonna have my back. I know they're gonna be there for me, support me no matter what, but we don't need to be together all the time. And I'm so grateful for these people in my life that, that, um, that are my solid people. They make me realize how that there are still good people left as corny as that sounds, but I'm serious. I'm like just being grateful for everything I do have and stop dwelling on the things that I don't have or that I don't have yet. We love the word yet because that means she's not she's not necessarily here right now, but she's coming. She just hasn't come yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> Developing my talents daily. So I am not gonna even sugarcoat it but i am a talented gal i have many talents but that doesn't necessarily mean that i develop each one every single day yes i do the singing yes i do the art <clears throat> but i there's many more there's, there's many more let's go it's always good to keep developing your talents keep getting better at them and i just feel like i haven't made time to to develop them because I know my potential and all my talents. I know that I can be like really, really good at them if I work on them. But I haven't lately, so we're gonna do that this year. You should too. Next. Mm. Oh, I love this one. Embracing failure and embarrassing courage. Mm. Oh my gosh. There, okay, so there is this trending sound on reels, my Instagram reel algorithm that just keeps popping up. You know what the sound is? Your fear of looking stupid is holding you back. She said what she said. I felt really stupid like posting all the time, especially in Korea, when I was just posting every single day on my Instagram. I was posting every single day, being really, really present on my Instagram. Do you know how much that took out of me? Like how much mental power that took out of me? I'm gonna lose followers because people are gonna get annoyed with me. That was still going on very much in my head. And I never told anyone this, oh my gosh. It was just a little, a little voice in my head saying, keep going, keep going. You're gonna, you're gonna feel stupid doing this. You might look stupid to some people, but keep going because it's gonna pay off. It did, in small ways, it did. And it did a lot more than I ever thought it would. Kept posting and posting and posting. And then one day, I posted a Jennifer Hudson cover. Guess what, she reposted me. Wow, the complete opposite happened where I gained lots more followers in a short amount of, in a shorter amount of time. Stuff like that was embarrassing courage for me. Every single time I pressed a post, I was I was just like I was I was like kind of taking myself through deep breaths every time I pressed post because I know there were gonna be so many, so many opinions about me, and like some people might have even thought that I was so vain for posting all of this. She must think she's hot. In actuality, this was my way of getting myself exposure in the way that I could. Your fear of looking stupid is holding you back. We're gonna keep looking stupid in 2023 in the best way. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay, last one is to discipline myself and follow through with my word. I have a problem with like, I will make all of these plans and I'll have all these goals in my head. It's like those random 3 a.m. surges of confidence and passion. I'm gonna solve world hunger. I'm gonna get my body in shape. I'm gonna be an influencer and I'm gonna be famous by next month. The problem is 
is I can I can be going grinding 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 for like two days but I keep forgetting that like things take time what I'm trying to say is that I need to follow through with my word, commit to doing something and keeping at it for a consistent amount of time. In all aspects of life and all aspects of goals, I'm gonna keep doing that. Maybe somebody, somebody watching can relate to this and maybe they can make these goals, some of these goals or the ones they relate to a part of their 2023, I don't know. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. Happy new year, have a great, year everybody be be great be grand be yourself miss go and um i'll see you in the next video